Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do a little video that I was not expecting to do today, um, but we're doing it. It's just, it's happening. Um, you're probably confused by the title. Why do I need your guys' support? Um, what's going on? Let's, let's talk real talk. Um, I talk about a lot of transparent, real life things on this channel. Um, I have never once sat here and said, hey, you know, this is my realistic life. It's perfect. Everything goes great all the time, 100%. Um, I am smooth sailing. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I'm none of these things, okay? So I'm here to add some cash to my coin jar. We're going to do the coin jar update and then we'll get into more of what I need support from you guys um, or why. So it is the dead of winter. It's been cold as hell outside. It has been in the negatives. We have no water right now. Um, we are frozen solid. Yes. Frozen solid is putting it lightly. Yeah, so like my husband... Our house is not frozen. The pipes to bring water to the house is frozen. That's yeah, so the pipes is. in the ground are frozen. So our whole neighborhood doesn't really... We n None of us have water. Um, my neighbor next door came over and he was like, Hey, I know we don't know each other really well. But we exchanged names, and he's like, if you ever needed anything, or you said if I needed anything. So, I'm just wondering if you guys have water. The answer is no. We don't have water. He doesn't have water. Uh, talk to uh, my neighbor who works at the grocery store. She doesn't have water. Um, talk to a co-worker who lives in a not-manufactured home, and they do not have water. So... I'm assuming a lot of people here do not have water right now. It's okay. I've lived off grid. I lived in a car. I can survive a few days of no water. However, I did have my first experience um, because it's just right now my husband and myself, kiddos are with co-parents, um, other parents. Um, <laughs> we went and took showers at the truck stop, which was... An interesting experience. So, yesterday, by the way, when you see this, it'll probably be posted tomorrow. So, it'll probably be posted on the 15th or the 16th. But, just for the sake of whatever, because I didn't update this, and it's the end of the week, and it's Sunday, and I feel weird not making a video on Sunday, which I told you guys that I needed a little break um, because of some things. So I made my video on Saturday, but we're going to add $2 here. Saturday was a hard day for me. Very, very hard day. I put $0 in here and that never happens as far as a gig working day. I did not go out gig working. I was bummed out. I was stressed out. I wanted to cry. I wanted to panic. I was really, really, really upset. Um, I normally don't get that upset. Um, I have a lot of anxiety um, issues, but I usually try not to let it get to me day after day after day. I'll let it do its thing. You know, the explosive anxiety thing. If you have anxiety, then you know. Sometimes it's like an overflowing cup. Once that's overflowed, then you're like, I'm good. <laughs> we got this again. We're going to restart. All right. So this is the jar. I'm not counting it, even though I desperately want to count this thing. Uh, I don't know what it is. My inner ADHD child self is like, count the money, Amanda. Just do it. Count it. Count the money. But it's it's getting heavy. We're going to put this towards a debt, whether it be a credit card, a personal debt, um, whether it be a bill, who knows? Who knows what we're going to put it to? Um, I do 
have some bills that I'm catching up on, which I feel pretty confident that that's going to happen. Um, I do appreciate everybody who has purchased from my shop. Um, we are going through the roller coaster of we've been moving, we moved, we've been here not quite, well, I guess, yeah, so we bought our house this week, what would be this week of last um, month, like officially bought it, bought it. Um, put it in our names, all the things. Um, we started moving into um, this place at the end of November, but we truly, truly didn't like live, live here um, until December. So our first holiday here, like truly here, was Christmas. Um, we didn't really do much for Thanksgiving. It was what it was. I believe Thanksgiving is a nice time to spend with family, but I have a little different view on holidays than others, and that is that we are here to celebrate for children and to spend time together. It is not about gifts, and it's not about who is wearing the, the best outfit, who is wearing um, the newest pair of shoes, who's got the newest purse, who brought the rolls, who, who bought the chicken, um, who bought the turkey, who bought the ham, whatever you're eating, you know, that's not what it's about. So, I no longer am a fast food worker. I'm done. I know. I just kind of rolled that in there, huh? <laughs> you're probably thinking, Amanda, what the hell are you doing? Did you get that job? Um, I did not get the job yet. Am I worried? Yes. Am I really super worried? No. Two reasons why. I do a lot of side hustles. So I can, if I have to, I can scrimp by. There may not be as many savings challenges. There may not, but we don't know that. I can't speak for the future. Um, I do know that the company that I'm working with that is trying to get me this job is an agency. They're not, they are not a temp agency. This is not an agency where you walk up and you say, I need a job for a week. What can you get me? I need a job Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, Tuesday. They're a place who is trying to get you a job because they're going to get paid to get you that job. They want people to hire you. So I don't care what I have to do, but I'm done. I'm done. I will go back to retail. I will do customer service. I will go to a call center. I will do whatever Amanda has to do to get the heck out of the food industry because I'm done. I'm done, done. I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. It makes me feel unappreciated. I feel like I'm wasting my time there because all of my time is part of how I make my money. And if I am not making enough to pay my bills, there's a problem. It's hard work. It's grunt work. I'm dirty. I get yelled at. I'm sick of customers that scream at me over the smallest things. I'm sick of terrible management. I'm sick of terrible companies. I know this stuff happens in other jobs, but this has been happening to me for the last month since I've started this job. And it happened at my previous job. But I held on for dear life because I knew that the chances of me buying a house in 2023 were coming near. That was the plan. So, I know you can say all the things you want to say in the comments because it's open. It's to the public. But remember, I am a person. And I am not here asking for support 
for somebody to sit there and bash me. I make fourteen twenty five an hour at this job, or I did. It is fast food. I have held on to these jobs for so long that I deserve better because I know I can go get skills doing something else. We all cut ourselves short, right? You're going to that job today where you're treated less than, where you're not getting sick time, you are not offered benefits, you can't afford to go to the doctor, you can't afford to go to the dentist, you can't go get glasses, you can't pay for all your bills in the same month. Why am I settling for that? Why would I be settling for that? Yes, I live in a cheaper area, but that's not good enough. I need to be able to save for my imminent future. I don't want to be almost 60 years old like my parents and have nothing. I get offered no retirement benefits, no 401k, no Roths, no, no PERS, no nothing. I have worked from the time I was 14 up until 34 years old, right? Because that's the here and the now. I have only been offered a 401k twice in all of my working history. Twice. I have only ever been offered health insurance one time. And the worst part about it is the company that I got offered the health insurance with would not add my husband because it's only for the worker. Okay, well, my husband needs insurance too. So, same goes for my husband. My husband is looking for better paying, skilled work where he can learn something. I'm not saying that this company is the only means of me finding a job because I have lots of urns in the fire. But I need support from everyone in this community because it's going to be rough. I'm going to have to learn something new. I'm going to have to deal with change. I don't do change very well. I'm a great learner, but I don't do change very well. So, if you hear me in a video say, hey, I'm thinking about going back to the food industry. I want you to scream in big capital letters, because that's screaming in texting world. Don't do it. You can do better. Because at the end of the day, I know I can do better. If I can run a store, if I can order food, if I can keep track of expenses, if I can do this budgeting channel, if I can do you YouTube, if I could do Instagram, if I could do Etsy, then I can do other things too. I've got hands. I can do manufacturing. I can do line work. I'm a well able bodied person for the most part, but I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of, of all the things. I did not move to struggle some more to then struggle some more. I've got all these goals. We've got all these savings challenges. We have all these binders here, right here. All these binders, they all need filled. They all need something in them because that is the future. So that's what I'm asking for support in. And I'm going to let you guys know one, one last thing. Before I left this job, I was belittled for my stature being small. Because I'm not even five feet tall. I was belittled for how I walk. How I present my body language. That I act too confident. I got asked to do things. I did them. I followed through. I did my job. I never once complained to anybody. I tried to make people feel comfortable. 
I greeted a new hire who also walked out on that job that day over things that no one should ever bring up to you at work. What does my physical being have anything to do with me doing this job? Nothing. My stature, the way I walk, the way I talk, the way I present myself does not keep me from doing any jobs. And I'm sorry that these people had a problem with that. And I'm sorry to this person, which by the way, I saw out gig working when I was gig, gig working. And she was like, wow, I was surprised that day. <laughs> that was something else. And it's true. But the, the, the harsh world is that when I called this company, when I talked to the store manager's manager, when I talked to the district manager's manager, no one seemed to care. So why do I care? Why would I stay there? It doesn't matter. See? That quick, it does not matter. If you are getting treated like this at a job, it's time for you to check that door and it's time for you to go get something else. And if you can't check the door because you are not a gig working, side hustling, uh, busting your butt, you know, going out and doing everything possible, you're, you're reselling your own items, you're reselling things from a thrift store, your significant others out there doing the hustle with you, if you can't do that, because not everybody lives that truth, right? Not everybody does it. I get asked all the time, what's gig working? And maybe your area is not good with all those things. Maybe you don't live in a booming area that allows all those things to work for you. Then you need to pause and go, I need to do better. This is, they don't deserve this. I deserve more because I know I can do better. I am not a college educated person. I do not have a student loan. I do, I've never gone to anything other than high school. But life teaches us a lot. I don't, need an, I don't need an education to do so. But if you, if you want to go get an education, if you want to work in medical, if you want to work in dental, if you want to work um, as a teacher, maybe you want to do something higher than that. Maybe you're going to go into the tech world. Maybe there's something that you've really wanted to do and you haven't even looked at it. Open up the doors for yourself. Because that door you can walk out is there and it's open to you. I live in a I live in a right to work state. I have a right to work and they have a right to fire me. I have a right to walk out the door and they have to deal with it. No cause. Zero cause. It's time to, to get my my skills on. So I appreciate all you guys for your love, your support, everything you guys do for me, anyone who has purchased from my shop, anyone who visits my shop, anyone who watches any of these videos, I appreciate you beyond. I am grateful. I am grateful you are a part of my budget family. You are my friends. I've met, I've met a lot of awesome people doing this. So do what you can with what you got, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.